Cubs Cadet. This is a 1913 Kohler and Johnson. It's an eight horsepower, and what they discovered was the eights were a little small to run the sawmill, so most of them were tens and twelves. So not a lot of eights were ever sold. I've only ever been able to confirm the existence of five in the United States, counting this one. Um, this one came out of Missouri by way of Wisconsin. This, this brand was built in Wisconsin. And uh, it's got the clutch pulley on the side of it. And what you can do with those, if I had a belt hooked up to it, it would be easier to see. You can pull out on it and it locks the clutch in and that's how you turn the whatever you were driving with the belt on and off. And the idea was to store all the energy in the flywheels to drive whatever you were running. Because these, these flywheels each weigh about 800 pounds. The idea was, when you didn't need that energy, the engine would miss. So in other words, You've got no compression right now because you've got this little locking ball that's holding through this rod, it holds the exhaust valve open. So there's no compression, it can't fire. As it slows down, you'll see this ball move back out of the way. See this go and let the exhaust valve close, and that's what allows it to fire, creating the hit and miss effect because then it'll let it have compression, it'll let it draw fuel up from the tank, and it'll let it fire one time. And then if I had a sawmill running on this, it might very well hit every time because it's working under such a load. And these were Fuller Johnson made engines from 1899 to 1933 when they went bankrupt in the Great Depression. Associated as the horse and a half chore boy, air cooled. Um, I think it's about a 1920 something, I believe. Uh, runs off a battery and a low tension coil. And it's running now about, I think, about 120 RPM. It's normally supposed to run in the working flow about 500 RPM. So we slow them down for the shows. Anything a farmer had to turn a crank for. It would run a corn chopper, it would run a feed mill, it wouldn't run a water pump very well, and it wouldn't create electricity because it's uneven RPM. But basically anything a farmer has to put a crank on and turn the handle. This is a labor saver. Cylinder, eight horsepower uh, standard gas engine, runs on gasoline. Uh, it's what they call a throttle governed engine, so it fires on every on every uh, revol on it like a typical four cycle engine. And the speed of the engine is governed uh, by the restriction of fuel in this housing right here. So the carburetor draws fuel up, and inside this is a spool valve that. When the balls of the fly ball governor go out, it closes down that valve and restricts the amount of fuel going to the engine. It's igniter fired instead of spark plug fired, so it's mechanically tripped with a set of points inside, make and break, so when the points come together and break, there's a spark, and that creates your ignition. It's probably running about uh, 
200 RPM right now. This particular engine was probably used to run a belt driven water pump or any kind of auxiliary piece of equipment. thing <laughs> um, this is the first three in the Maytag series when they went to gas engines the wood tub and then this would actually be the next one in line this is the these were built from 22 to 27 and then these were built from 27 to 37 this is the single cylinder and then they had a two cylinder one that was built from 37 to 48 um, Everybody just likes seeing the old ones run. <laughs> so I always make sure to bring at least one. Today I just thought I'd bring all three. Where these are back in the day when there was no electricity in, in rural America. These were made for the rural uh, farmers and as, as rural electrification took over after World War II, then everybody went to electric and the gasoline went by the wayside. Maytag, Maytag still made a washing machine that you could get gasoline after 48, but they used a Briggs and Stratton engine. And they actually made, they, you could actually get a Maytag with a gas motor on it until 1982 when the ringer was dropped. out of the irrigation pond and then they'll pump it out into the field. This is a 1908 uh, 12 horsepower field and Brundage cam stopper engine. It's uh, uh, belonged to a local fellow here in uh, Centralia, Washington, and uh, his dad uh, drug it out of the scrap yard about in, oh, in the early 40s, and they uh, used it for cutting firewood for a number of years until they, until they uh, bought a uh, 1954 tractor. At that point, the old engine was put behind the barn, and been there ever since. Uh, we drug it out of Blackberries in February of this year, and uh, uh, the owner and myself spent uh, spent the winter uh, getting her, getting her running again. And here it is. This is its debut. 